Hello, I'm Darby McDevitt, and I'm the narrative director for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Today we're going to go a little bit deeper into some of the things you may have seen in our past demos, more specifically the mythical elements that you'll find in 9th century England. I'm talking, of course, about the Daughters of Lyrion, the Black Shuck, and the Lost Drengir of Ragnar Lothbrok. <laughs> Black Shuck is a particular piece of mythology that's very, very common in England. There are a lot of stories and tales about black dogs that roam the night. The Black Shuck is particular to East Anglia, but there are a lot of black dog phenomena found around England. The term Shuck comes from an old English word, Shucka. The etymology is not quite clear. Uh, it could mean devil, uh, come from the word devil, or it could come from the word that means shaggy. Uh, in any case, the black shuck comprises both those elements. It's a, generally known as a black shaggy dog that's the devil incarnate. So we decided to put this piece of mythology in the game uh, and allow Eivor to come across it and, and tangle with it. A poor victim of someone's fury. Now, the daughters of Lyrian are our own homage to Shakespeare and his play King Lear, but the play King Lear is actually based on a historic figure from quite a long time before our game is set, but we thought it would be fun to put a little uh, quasi-historical stuff into this game. So Cordelia, Regan, and Goneril are the daughters of Lyrion, and they are sort of protecting their father's legacy, a man who was betrayed by the people of East Anglia, and you'll find evidence of this story scattered throughout East Anglia, um, and a little bit beyond. You'll meet the three daughters, all of whom have, a, let's say, a chip on their shoulder. But you'll also, if you dig deeper into the territories, you'll find a lot more to this story. So people with a sharp eye and a desire to explore will actually be able to finish this storyline. And lastly, with the lost Drengir of Ragnar Lothbrok. Ragnar Lothbrok was a very famous Viking who came over to England about 10 years before our game is set. And he did quite a bit of damage and uh, he made a lot of enemies. And there were two kings in the north, or two men in the north who wanted to be king, who put their differences aside and banded together to try to uh, defeat Ragnar. And King Ella was generally credited as the one who killed Ragnar Lothbrok by throwing him into a pit of snakes. What we've done is created a group of people, six warriors, or Drenger, courageous warriors, who have lost all sense of purpose now that their leader, their Jarl, uh, or their king Ragnar is dead. So you'll find these Drengir scattered throughout England and Norway and they each have a story to tell and each of them wants to die in a glorious battle so that they can be with their beloved Ragnar in Valhalla. So uh, Eivor will have an opportunity to meet with them, get their side of the story, and then send them to uh, their ultimate reward. Now all of the missions we talked about are not you know, part of the main story. You'll find them just by exploring the world of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We put a lot of care and effort into rewarding people who just want to get off the beaten path. And this is just a small sample of the mythology and uh, cultural rituals that you'll see. And when you actually get the, your hands on the game, you'll find that the game is full of this kind of stuff. So I hope you'll join us on November 17th and dive in. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy the show.